Welcome, boils and ghouls, to Basic Beck Beauty. This is Halloween themed. I just put up this special background because I love Halloween. Oh, and some extra jewelry. I love Halloween. Not a, it's a very Australian tradition, but it's getting there. But I, I've loved it ever since I was a kid, so I thought, why not? So I thought we'd start this week. We're going to do lipstick. There's a lot of different types of lipsticks. There's, you, you've got the basic lipstick, you've got lip lacquer, and you've got your mate lipsticks, which can come in actual uh, matte lipsticks, which come in lipstick form and a lip lacquer. So to start off, I'm gonna start with a lipstick. So red, this is a, just a creamy lipstick. Oh, it helps if I use a mirror. Put your lips together. Try not to go too far out. And then just. Go around the sides. I do my lip liner backwards where I like to do it afterwards. I'll show you the other way in a second. And I'm doing red because it's like blood red. And then if it doesn't look like it's, you know, um, covered properly, then you can go in with your lip liner. And well, this is why I do it backwards. And then go over it. There's also a little trick you can do afterwards to stop it getting on your teeth. It's the finger trick. Get your finger. And all the residue comes around your finger. Now, lipstick is great. But it's not permanent. It transfers and it bleeds. So this would be used, you can use it, you, you can take the lipstick with you and keep reapplying it if you really, really love this shade, you love the feel, you just love it, right? But as you can see, it transfers. Yeah, so that's a problem. So that's one product. There's nothing much you can do about the transfer. It happens. Oh my God. Oh, I forgot my makeup remover. We'll see how this goes. Okay, moving on. We'll do the uh, lip liner now, beforehand, as you're supposed to do it, which I don't like to do it. Because it's, it, you know, it's your choice. I like to do it afterwards. You, just, you generally do it beforehand. It gives you a guidance of where to put your lipstick. Get up to the top and then down. Or you can do a little cross. So, cross, cross. And then follow your lip all the way down. I like to do mine just on the outer, or well just on the very edge of the lip. Some people like to do it on the outer. I will do that down here to show you the difference. Just outside the lip. To make your lips look bigger. You can leave it like that or you can fill it in a bit. Goody.
you can colour in the whole lip. As I'm saying, choice is yours. You do what you are comfortable with. So you can top it up with gloss. So this is coloured gloss. So it's red, also known as lip lacquer. Red applicator. Now this is a lot creamier than the lipstick. This will bleed because I'm an ex-smoker. Through the line, it will run out and run up ways. So, and it transfers. But once again, whatever choice you have. I like to use these for um, like just photos, if I'm doing a photo or I'm out somewhere doing a photo or I'm at home doing a photo, I just want to take a photo because then you've got the glossy look. Yep. Let's hope this doesn't go everywhere. Now, oh my goodness, it's cold. Now we have the mate, the matte, oh my god, matte lipstick, which once it's on, doesn't move. So it just stays there. And this is when I'd get a similar colour and go around. I don't think this is similar, but we'll let's give it a go. But, um, you know, you can colour in in the in the lip. Give it a bit of definition. Oh, my goodness. Definition, but try not to stuff up like I do. So, this is very dry um, and it feels like you've got dry lips, but it doesn't transfer. And I lie. Oh my God, it does. It's not supposed to transfer. Probably wait until it dries a bit more. But it, it lasts longer and it doesn't transfer as much as much as the uh, lipstick or the liquid lip. So let's have a look with the good old drink test. Okay, I'll have another drink. Very little transfer. Okay, fine at transfer and I lied. Depending on the product. So, but it will, should last longer. And if you don't like the dryness of it, you can always, or the colour, go on top of the lip gloss. Makes it feel creamier. Let's 
drop in with the matte liquid lip. And I'd like to thank you all for watching last week's video. I was extremely nervous. Uh, this week I'm a little bit better prepared, except for my makeup remover. So, but you get the idea. Oh my gosh. So, don't forget to like. And if you haven't subbed already, please sub. It helps me out. It uh, shares the video so other people can learn as well. And if you want to comment something, you can tell me what you want to see next week or what you want to see in the future or what you're having trouble with or what you, you know, maybe you picked up something and you learned something. So you can comment down below and tell me what you learned. So now we're going in with the matte liquid lip. Try and apply some more. Looks like I'm running out. Transferred a bit. I should probably test it. There you go. Not as much. Sweet. So I'm not lying at this one. So it shouldn't transfer too much. I would do the drink test, but I think there's no room. Oh, there's a bit of room left on my cup. Yeah. Beautiful. So I think I didn't let the other one dry too much, and that's why it transferred. So, um... I hope you've learnt a bit of the different types of lipstick. Uh, people are scared of the red lips because it's like, Ugh! and because uh, it's very bold, and especially during the day. But um, I'm like a Halloween. Turn it, you know, turn it's blood. Blah. So um, hope to see you again next week. Hope you liked it, and um, like, share, subscribe. Bye.